this is Dumpy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video in my Terry world. This is the, um, I guess it's not really my second world, but it's probably like my fifth world or, or something at this point, but uh, this is basically the, the world uh, that I've uh, battled the, the mechanical bosses in and defeated uh, Plantera in. Uh, the reason I'm in this world is because I'm going back to my dungeon, because this is the, the only dungeon I have where I can find the tactical skeleton. And the reason I want a tactical skeleton is because I want to get the, the tactical shotgun to battle Duke Fishron. So there's been a, a long, a long road of events that have led to, to this moment where I can hopefully, finally, get everything the, that I need uh, to, to hopefully set me up to, to battle Duke Fishron. Also, kind of accidentally in the, uh, the process... I got this beauty as well. I got my Terror Blade, which, uh, uh, yeah, is going to be probably just about as useful as uh, anything else that I was actually trying to, to do. And I kind of just got it by accident. So, happy days. Celebrate for me. So, if you remember in the last episode, I did come down to this dungeon, but I didn't have any keys. I now have uh, 29 gold keys and a shadow key. I couldn't find any other keys. I, I couldn't find any of the, the other keys that I wanted. So, I don't know if I've put them in a chest and forgot about them or I, I don't know so sadly I won't be able to open up too many of the the, the chests but I should uh, be able to, to open up at least a few of them but the main reason I'm here is to get the the tactical skeletons so they only spawn in green tiled wall rooms so in the the background of these different rooms you can see different types of backgrounds and I need the um the 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 tiled walls which is actually what we're in now and I know we're in it now because it's the same rooms that all of these hell armored bones spawn in uh, as well and the um uh, diabologist or whatever it's called the Diabolus. Diabolus, that's the one. <laughs> so they spawn here as well. So the, the room that I'm in now, there, oh, there we go, there's a Diabolus as well. So I could get one spawning right in this room here. But let's uh, not just stay here. Let's wander for a bit so I can go and have a look in some of these uh, these chests and kind of see uh, what else there there is to find. Let's try and stay alive as well and try and take out some of these people. Is there anything else good in there? Uh, yeah, I'll take the Night Owl potion. These are generally pretty handy. Yeah, uh, but let's, uh, let's kind of keep wandering uh, around. But uh, once I I've kind of um oh there we go look there's one right there there's a tactical skeleton right now imagine if i just got it straight away oh where did he go oh he's over here he's over in this side did i get it did i get it i don't think i got it but <laughs> there we go that proves that is exactly what we were were after and do they have a chance to either drop um oh i got something else quite cool that i'm going to, have to check that out later uh yeah they either drop um uh, a swap mask or the uh the the shotgun so there we go at least i know i can see them Anything else in here? Let's go and grab the, the gold coins. I think I'm just going to be grabbing a whole load of gold coins from these uh, these chests. So I think these are the the chests that I could have opened kind of before Plantera. So I don't think we're going to get any crazy weapons or anything. Oh, but look, there's another tactical um, skeleton there. That's two that we have found already. Not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. Right, let's keep pushing on. So you can see that. Oh, look, there's another one there as well. Was there this many in the last episode and I just didn't notice? Or was I spending time in the, the wrong rooms? Because I was thinking that they're pretty rare, but I found three already so well they can't be that rare can they i've already run into to three let's take out this one sadly nothing uh dropped uh, at all so far can i open this chest? is this like a frost i think that's a frost chest i need to get more keys and definitely come back here because uh, i am curious as to, to what i'd find but yeah you can see the background of this area this is different so this means we're going to be finding different um, uh, skeletons and different enemies spawning inside of this area compared to, to where I was before. Look, there's another one there. So this is good. At least we're finding the um, the tactical skeletons pre uh, pretty quick. Uh, it's just uh, it's just kind of waiting for them to, to drop what I need them to, to, to drop. But at least at least every time I see one, I get a, a little bit of hope. You know, normally the, the hope quickly disappears as I realize they don't drop anything. But <laughs> at least uh, at least I get to experience the uh, the the hope and uh let's go and grab some more night owl potions i've kind of learned my lesson about not grabbing every single thing i find in a chest because you know i basically grab it from a chest take it home put it in another chest and never look at it again but look at all of these chests they're what i want to open so you get a whole bunch of different keys from like you know the underground hollow or the corruption and like these different places and uh I must have gotten some, because you kind of just get them, like, anyway, just by battling things, but I couldn't find any. I just don't know if I have left them somewhere and forgot about it, or... I don't know, maybe I just have been unlucky and haven't found any, but yeah, I really didn't uh, have any, which is a bit of a shame, because I did want to, to be going and opening a, a bunch of chests, but at least I'm getting a, at least I'm getting a, th a few things. If uh, nothing else, I'm getting gold, and oh, speaking of gold, I invested some of my gold into into my Terror Blade. I did a uh, reforging, I think I did, 
I think I did three reforges, and I ended up with the um, demonic terror braid, which does 127 percent damage. So it's not the best. Legendary is apparently the the best. So I might do the um, the kind of cheating cheat, but everyone does it. Cheat where you um, kind of forge it. And then if you don't get what you want, you just quit out the game without saving and then you go back in and forge it again. I might kind of keep doing that for, for a bit uh, just to... um. Uh, just until I get the legendary one, because why not? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> I want the, the best one I can get. And I'll run out of all of my money if I do it the other way. So you'll see I've decided to, to kind of come back up here. Because if I kept going down, I was kind of getting to a, a another area. I want to, to stay where there's kind of this uh, this slanted backdrop. Uh, just, to, just to make sure I have a, a chance to, to get the um, the, the technical um, skeletons. I have, though, been getting a bunch of other stuff. Just some other bunch of, uh, of things that should be pretty good. You're considering that this is quite like a a high level place to be. I should have found some pretty good items. So what I'm going to do, rather than look at everything now and end up getting taken out, I'm probably going to um, uh, just kind of once I've finished looking around or uh, once I've kind of got what I needed, I think I'm then going to, to look then. And oh, there's a, a bound wizard here. Let's go and save him. Let's see if he um, lasts longer than the, the mechanic did in the last episode. And by the looks of things, <laughs> maybe not. I think the, the closer I stay to him, the more danger he's in. So let's just go and, uh, and uh, back off from uh, him a little bit. Uh, just uh, just increase his chances. And oh, nope, he's gone. Goodbye, wizard. It was nice to, to have known you. <laughs> That's uh, exactly what I expected to, to happen. So tell you what, let's, um, let's kind of not focus too much on the the, the technical skeleton for now seeing as, as i've seen they are pretty common and uh, let's go and um uh, keep going down because uh, i'm probably going to find more of those tiled rooms anyway and i want to find more of these i want to find more of these chests and can i kind of stand here am i getting hit by that ball i don't think i am i think i'm relatively safe here from the ball but there are a lot of other things attacking me so let's go and very quickly grab the the gold and uh, let's get out of here because this is a <laughs> this is getting a little bit dangerous this is a uh, nothing to, to scoff at hanging out in this area here there are a lot of a lot of deadly things around here, and uh, I've just used my my healing potion. So that's going to keep me alive for a while. But of course, I can't I can't heal again for a little while until the the, the cooldown's done. So yeah, let's keep wandering down. Uh, hopefully, kind of keep coming across these um. Uh, these chests, a recall potion. Really not getting anything good though from these chests. These are things that would have been good uh, a long time ago, but sadly kind of just, you know, everything I've got now is better. And it's kind of a bit of a shame because there's all of these these things that, you know, I would have been really happy about before, but now, you know, they're just not worth it. You know, I've just kind of upgraded beyond them. So I think I probably didn't find too many tactical skeletons before because as you can see, the deeper I go, the the less I seem to get because I'm not finding any more of these tiled rooms. So uh, maybe... Uh, uh, yeah, I do just want to kind of hang around on the, the, the surface a little bit more. Uh, but I am kind of finding other skeletons. And there is a, a whole variety of different things that get dropped. So uh, even if it might not be exactly what I'm after, I might be able to, to find some cool things. Anyway, let's go and grab these uh, these gold coins and keep uh, yeah keep on uh, heading deeper and deeper down. Oh, there's a, a commando down here. Let's go and uh, take out that guy. And there's another chest here. Can I open it from here? Let's kind of just grapple to the, the wall. Anything? Oh, steady on, steady on. Let's go and look. And oh, a bone welder. Let's go and grab this. I think I might have one of these birds before, but let's go and grab that. Sounded relatively interesting, but it looks like most of the the, the tiled rooms are kind of closer to the 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 entrance of the um the the dungeon. In this case, at least, you know, I'm sure it's not the the, the same in every dungeon you go to. So yeah, let's go and uh, let's go and start trying to to make our way back up uh, up to to there because uh, that does seem to to be kind of like the 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 place to to hang out. Like I feel like the next step is really getting my um my defense up uh, just because um uh, just because, like, the Terror Blade is so strong, I feel like I can deal... Whoa, that's a Paladin, that's a Paladin. Yeah, I feel like I can deal damage very well now. It's really um, mainly about uh, being able to, to survive for longer, I'm worried about. Right, there was a Paladin back there, and they... I'll be honest, they scare me. I did defeat one in the last episode, but only only just by a very uh, unique strategy of kind of staying out of its way and firing down grenades. If I can kind of get it trapped somewhere similar, and this might be exactly the, the place. If I can kind of get it trapped down there, there we go. I can kind of just rain down the, the, the Nimbus Cloud on it and uh, do damage that way, and uh, hopefully it won't be able to hurt me. There we go. I can kind of just uh, <laughs> hover around here a little bit and uh, deal with everything else, and the Nimbus Cloud is going to be very slowly dealing damage. I also got my, my little guy that jumped down there as well, who's uh, once again not doing the uh, the most damage in the world, but it's getting there. I guess I could just use the Mega Shark as well and kind of just spray down some some damage. Actually, if I use the Light Discs, because then that way I won't be wasting any ammo. So this is kind of the, the the coward ways to battle them, but I feel like they have to drop something good. Like they're so tough to to take out. I feel like there's no way that there's not 
there's not a reward at the the end for it. Of course, you know, you're not always going to, to get the same drop every time. So he's pretty much taken out now. Uh, let's see. Did we get anything good? Sadly, it looks like I didn't get anything. And whoa, there's a lot of people underneath me down there. Let's uh, let's just stay away from them, shall we? <laughs> let's take the, the the coward's way out and let's try and, uh, and work our way back up. Actually, I think I do need to go down that way. It looks like I need to go down across and then left. It looks like I am going to... To, to have to to push my way through them. Hopefully they're not too tough, and then the the, the terror blade will be enough to to deal a lot of damage. And whoa, look at that! Like a hot knife through butter, just cutting my way through them. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> right then, let's go and get back up to the the surface. Then it looks like the 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 top of the 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 dungeon is the only place where I'm going to to be finding uh, the the tactical skeleton. So uh, yeah, even though it's kind of a bit of a shame to kind of only hang out in that one area, it looks like uh, that's uh, the place that I need to to go for now if I'm going to have any chance of getting this tactical skeleton. And I do really want it. I do really want to, to try and get it to, today because then that means the the next episode I can go up against Duke fish runner uh, again and uh, hopefully that will be me able to defeat what is probably the the toughest boss in the game at this point like a lot of some people say that okram's the toughest boss but okram like it was a difficult fight i had against him but i did it duke fish run i hardly tickled him you know he was <laughs> he was so unbelievably tough at least for like the the gear that i had maybe if you had a different kind of setup it would be easier and that's i guess what i'm kind of do doing now i'm not necessarily like straight upgrading what i have but i'm just um Kind of making it more suited for that particular battle, I guess, is the, the the way to put it. So, right, we're back in the we're back in tiled territory, I guess we can uh, <laughs> we can call this. Uh, you can see the the backdrop has all of those slanted tiles again, which means we are going to be going up uh, against uh, all of the uh, yeah all of the, the the mobs that we need to. We can see some of these uh, diabolists uh, coming around again. There's going to be a bunch of those hell things showing up, and let's go and grab this um. Uh, these glow sticks as well because I've been putting torches everywhere but kind of throwing uh, glow sticks all over the place uh, might not be a bad uh, idea as well just to just kind of light the place up you know it doesn't make a, a big difference just to allow me to to be able to to uh, see uh, a little bit better I am taking a lot of damage around here like I'm not being kind of as careful as, uh, as I could be I guess but they are they are certainly dealing uh, a lot of damage and oh there's another chest kind of down to the the left here and let's go and uh, open that up to see if there's going to be anything good in it I'm doubting actually let's not look in it yet because if we look at my my, my health and oh, there's another chest there as well yeah my health is um my health isn't very good right now and i'm not allowed to, to take a healing potion for a while so maybe we want to oh no, no no one heart i have one heart let's keep going let's keep going i need to take out that guy i've got oh no yeah <laughs> it was the fire it was the fire damage that got me in the end. So the good thing about this is I died, but I dropped my gold coin right kind of on like the entrance to, to my way down. So that means kind of when I go and head back down there, and I am heading back down there. I'm not backing out, don't worry. <laughs> when I go and head back down there, I'll be able to, to grab my gold coins. Because that's really in the, the difficulty I'm playing. That's really the, the only punishment there there is for for dying you know you kind of drop some of your gold coins and i did get a lot of gold coins i do definitely want to get them back but it's not the end of the world i can just go and uh, uh yeah go and grab them again so let's just go and uh, uh quickly make my way back to the the, the dungeon it's probably nice to have a, a bit of a break as well, because this kind of gives me a, a chance to, to kind of fully regenerate my health, take a brand new iron skin potion and kind of go back in and really focus on what I need to do. But it did look like there was a bunch of chests around the surface. They're all just those gold chests, and they're the rubbish ones. They're the um the ones full of things that aren't particularly helpful, really apart from kind of the, the few night owl potions and the... um. Uh, yeah, the, the gold coins, I guess, is kind of the, the only thing that has uh, been really, um, uh, yeah, particularly useful for, for them. But, hey, I'm not going to say no to them, and it's kind of just fun to to kind of have the, the lucky dip of what you're going to get. Like, that's the fun thing about these chests, is it is, it's, it's like a present. It's like a, a mystery present, and you have no idea what you're going to, to get. And sometimes, like real presents, you're going to be disappointed, uh, but sometimes you're going to get something amazing uh, that you never expected. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going. So, um, actually, what I want to do, I want to look at some of the stuff I got, because I'm kind of looking at the, the wiki now, kind of as I go, and the uh, Diabolic, uh, but Diabolist drops the, the Inferno Fork, and then there's a bunch of things that the the hell armored things drop like the the bone feather the key brand wisp in a bottle and the uh, the magnet spear so i want to see if i got any of uh, of those things uh, as well and uh, take a little look through my pockets and there we go i've just about arrived at the the dungeon it's probably a good idea to do that anyway before i go down uh, just because i haven't got full hearts yet so let's uh let's kind of deal with these guys if i just put a um 
uh, and Nimbus Cloud kind of at this doorway. Uh, hopefully that's going to, to be enough to, to take out anything that would uh, be trying to, to ambush me. And let's look. So there we go. I did. I got two of them. I got two Inferno Forks. One's much better than the other one. I got this deadly one here. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be nothing too amazing. And oh, I did get a key brand as well. I'm pretty sure I have one of them uh, as well anyway. But uh, let's have a look at this then. What? Oh, it shoots fire. Okay, what? Oh, I remember seeing this stuff. I thought it was a glitch or something at first. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty attack. <laughs> the way it does all of these sparkles. And I guess anything that stays in that area keeps getting damage dealt to it. And 72 magic damage. That's that's nothing to, to sneeze at either. Maybe maybe I do want to, to use this thing a, a little bit, maybe. So, yeah, let's go. We can kind of give this a little bit of a go when we're down there. A lot of the enemies I'm going to be taking out on the surface aren't really tough enough to try anything. And was there anything else of note that I gathered? Not that I can, not that I can really see. So yeah, let's go and uh, uh, head back into the the fray, uh, as uh, as I say. <laughs> uh, let's make sure we grab these gold coins on the way down. There we go. I got all of my uh, my gold coins back. And uh, yeah, let's go and see if we can get ourselves a tactical shotgun. Like I haven't given myself many opportunities because apart from those kind of pretty much those first three. Um, uh, tactical skeletons. I haven't really found any. You know, I kind of left the the area that they uh, uh that they spawn in almost uh, immediately. So let's go and see if we can head down to where those chests were. Let's go and use uh, this a little bit. Like it does drain my magic pretty quick, but I'm not really a magic guy, so it doesn't really uh really matter. And it seems to do some pretty pretty okay damage against them as well. And a lot of them kind of drop uh, mana stars as well. So yeah, look, if I just leave that there, you see, it's kind of just constantly doing damage. So I think it's less about like kind of the actual impact and more about these. I don't know, kind of fireworks that kind of stay after it. I think that's the uh, the the main thing. And there was another tactical skeleton there. Sadly, it didn't seem like it dropped anything particularly interesting. And oh, I don't want to go this way though. That's um that's out of uh out of the tile territory as a <laughs> as I decided uh, to call it. So uh, yeah, let's kind of uh, keep in this general area. I uh, wander around, see if we can find uh, any more of the uh, the the chest that I want to to find. And uh, yeah, see if I can well see if I can stay alive this time, which I didn't do a very good job of uh, of last time. I can tell this is where I went went to last time because I can still see a um a bunch of my uh my glow sticks kind of scattered uh, around the the floor so where were those chests it's so hard to work your way around here because everywhere looks the same doesn't it? everything <laughs> kind of blends into one have I looked in this chest yeah looks like that's been looted I might as well uh, go and grab uh, a few more of these glow sticks quickly stampy you're getting attacked stampy get out the menu stampy not a good time to, to do it <laughs> let's go and uh, take out these guys uh, let's go and use the uh, the inferno fork a little bit it is good it is good it's not just like a novelty weapon like a lot of these kind of special things are it actually seems to be pretty powerful like it probably doesn't match up to the the terror blade in any way but it's got range which is kind of the the thing i like about it i can kind of use it while i'm backed off so yeah i might uh, at least while i'm down here kind of play around a bit a little bit then generally what i do when i get a new item like this is i kind of look online and i sort of see what everyone else says like is this actually any good like it seems like it's pretty good is it actually like worth using it anyway at or or not <laughs> so what i guess i can do if i kind of shoot them around down there if something like falls down into it then that would be taking damage i'm kind of like hanging back a little bit now because I did get pretty hurt there so I kind of wanted to to stay back um uh, just a, a little bit, uh, just to kind of regenerate my health. Sadly, it looks like the uh, the enemies didn't cooperate with my my plans and decided to attack me anyway. It's probably time for a, another healing potion right about now. But I'm doing okay. I feel like uh, I feel like I'm surviving. The the iron potion's doing what it's uh, supposed to do. So uh, yeah, let's just go and uh, keep uh, uh, roaming the the area because that's probably the the best way to to run into uh, as many of these uh, tactical skeletons as possible. And I didn't look up what the um the exact stats were for for the percentage of them them dropping it. I mean, I could probably kind of look it up now. Like, I got, like, the wiki up in front of me on my computer, so I could probably, <laughs> if there is a, a dull moment, go and, uh, and check quickly, but it is a little bit of a risk. Right, let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can go and uh, check on the, the wiki quick and see exactly what the percentage is. There's a... It does not say... Oh, there we go. It's a 7.64% chance to, to be dropped, so that's not that bad, really. Like, if I kill like 12 of them then you would expect for me to get one with those odds like obviously odds don't work like that and you can be unlucky it's, there's no kind of guarantees with chance but it's not actually as uh, as rare as, as i expected it might have been so that's actually uh filled me with a little bit of confidence like seven percent chance seems very slim and if i was only going to kill one you know then that would be very slim odds but the fact that i can kind of take out uh quite a few of them in the the area that's actually uh not too bad and i want to i want to heal myself up again here is that the 
those um, Inferno Forks, they're actually doing a lot of damage against me. It's those uh, uh, Diabolists. They're the ones dealing uh, the most damage against me. And they kind of teleport all over the, the place as well, uh, which is kind of what makes them a, a little bit more challenging. Uh, you kind of really have to, to go out of your, your way to, to take them out. So yeah, as soon as, uh, as, soon as those guys show up, I think I'm going to make them my priority. Because once again, my health is uh, looking far from uh, convincing right now. And I... Um, I can't use a healing potion. And oh no, there's one of those things going after me. These guys are pretty tough as well. I got one heart right now. One heart. Oh no, no, there's a dark caster. Don't get me. Don't get me. Somehow I am still alive. I have no idea how though. Let's just try and hang out here. And come on health. Go on quicker health. Why does my health go up so slowly? Look at it. It's like half a heart. Three quarters of a heart. Two hearts. It's going so slowly. Luckily, there's only about five seconds until I can use uh, another healing potion. So let's uh, let's throw down a Nimbus Cloud down here, shall we? And uh, hopefully that's going to... There we go. That's dealing some damage with some things down there. But now I don't care about getting the, the shotgun. It's all just about my my own personal survival, to, to be honest. This might be able to, uh, to deal a, a little bit of damage uh, to anything uh, sneaking up on me. Let's have that healing potion and I can have the uh, the next one ready to, to, to go sooner because uh, it's a minute cooldown, which is quite a long time in uh, in the world of Terraria and all my iron skin had uh, run out uh, as well uh, which isn't very handy so I'm gonna wait for for my health to, to completely fill up and then I'm gonna go and jump back down and uh, yeah uh, carry on my my search so let's kind of jump around this way rather than kind of jumping directly on all of their heads because yeah whenever you <laughs> whenever you hang out like above them somewhere like that you always know there's like a, a giant crowd kind of building up under underneath you like that and oh I think they're all getting killed by these spikes here actually by the the looks of things uh, let's kind of push down here a little bit and to try and take out them. There's another one of these um, diabolist thingies. Let's uh, uh, take out him as soon as he shows uh, up again. Uh, but yeah, kind of keep keep on going. I've probably killed about... I think I've probably killed about five of the, the tactical skeletons so far. So as I would expect, I haven't got it yet. You know, I'd say that... You know, if I, if I get it within killing 10, I'd be happy with that, you know, because it's just under a 10% chance uh, to, to be able to, to get the, the tactical shotgun. Uh, I'm just not finding enough tactical skeletons. That's the problem. Like, if they came as regularly as all of these, um, uh, these like, hell skeleton things, then I reckon I'd have it by now already. It's just the it's just the fact that I'm not finding too many. You know, they're not, like, uber rare. It's not like I'm wandering around for half an hour and then I just find one. But, uh, yeah, they're not they're not coming out as common as, uh, as I would uh, have hoped. Like, when I first came down here. I had like three show up within like a minute and I was like, aha, this might be easier than I thought. And then apparently they all just decided uh, to run off somewhere and uh, <laughs> I've kind of struggled to, to find them since. And I need to stop going down that corridor as well because it's kind of completely covered with spikes. I know there's another diabolist over here. Let's go and uh, take out him because they really are the, the things uh, that cause the, the big damage against me. Like, look at that. As soon as one of them show up, all of my health just goes and uh, and completely disappears. I really uh, should be using their, their weapon a little bit more. Like, I'm kind of experiencing just how much uh, damage they do and all. Oh, was that a, a tactical skeleton there? Oh, there is. There's a tactical skeleton. I need a, a healing potion. I really needed that because I was very hurt. And oh no, look at my health. Look at my health. I think I'm going to die, but let's see if we can take out the, the tactical skeleton first. Is he even down here? I can't even see. Oh, look at my health. I am a goner. I wonder if I can get back up to, to where I went to before. Was it up this way? And oh, Nope, I couldn't find the antidote. I think I was poisoned or, or something, and that's the the, the thing uh, that took me out in the the end. So it wasn't it wasn't a successful trip to the the dungeon. Well, neither of them were because I died, uh, and also I didn't get what I was after. But I did get this deadly inferno fork, and who knows? Maybe this is actually a really good weapon. Let's just do one quick check to see. Nope, uh, I don't have the the tactical shotgun. Sometimes I kind of pick things up but don't even uh, notice it. <laughs> So tell you what, what I'm going to do, rather than having another entire episode just jumping around in the, the dungeon, flailing my sword around, I'm going to go in between this episode and the, the next episode and uh, spend as much time in the dungeon as I can to, to try and guarantee that I get the, the, the tactical shotgun. And what that means is in the next episode, I can go up against the, the, the Duke Fish run again, and hopefully this time I'll be able to survive more than about 15 seconds. <laughs> that would be lovely. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, there'll be a link down in the uh, description to the next episode once it is online. But for now, and I thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!